Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me today for my April favorites. I got a few empties, I got a few favorites, and I'll tell you this was a really hard video to do because I think back in April and I'm going, really, April was a pretty crappy month. And I know I said that about March because it was. And um, so I had to really dig deep, you know, what is it about April that I like, you know, and, um, you know, here we are in the midst of the Corona virus and, and I'm like, all right, what did I like about April? <laughs> so if you're curious of what I found out that I liked about April, stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. All joking aside, I am very, very thankful for a lot of things in April. And probably the most important thing is that everyone that I know personally in my life that has struggled with any kind of an issue or even those that I know that have had Corona have all prevailed so far. So I'm very, very fortunate. My mom and dad are okay. My sister, my immediate family, my children, my husband, of course, you know, everyone, everyone is okay. And I'm so super thankful for that. I do know that that can change in a heartbeat. So yes. So in April, I don't have much new things to share with you, but one of the things that I do want to talk to you about is my sonic toothbrush. Um, I have been undergoing some dental, uh, dental care issues and part of and it's ongoing and um, of course the appointment I had in April has been canceled due to corona and uh, it's going to have to be rescheduled I'm not too sure when I'm going back but in the interim you know aside from the normal things you know brushing flossing rinsing I have a water pick I've been doing all sorts of different things to try to to really prevent as much as possible so one of the things that I got, and this was sent to me, gosh, maybe in January, maybe in December, I don't remember, I've already talked about this, but this is the Burst Sonic Toothbrush. And when you think about Sonic Toothbrushes, they really are awesome. And the Burst Sonic Toothbrush is so super affordable. I was so shocked at that. And even the brush replacements, the whole... The whole system is just amazing. So I will tell you that without a doubt, I have become an addict when it comes to my Sonic toothbrush and Burst. They've got a number of different modes here. I'll link you all the information below, but this is just like such a great, I think, affordable alternative. So if you have an electric toothbrush, if you have a Sonic toothbrush, or you're thinking of getting one, check out the Burst because you know, the price is so affordable and I think the quality is spot on and I've been using mine and I absolutely love it. So yes, that is definitely a favorite. And I've got no particular order here. I'm just going to mention a couple of things. This was actually sent to me from Marlene Fab and Glam. This is the Bella Jade and this is the makeup setting spray. She had been raving about this and and I have, I mean, I use a number of different other setting sprays, but she loves the ingredients. It's cool, tree free. There's a whole bunch of benefits to this. So she sent me a bottle and um, I've been using it. So when she first sent it to me, I used it a couple of times and I said, well, you know, I didn't really notice too much difference between that and my NYX or some of the others. But the more I used it, the more I loved it. So definitely a favorite in April and I am definitely buying myself some. I still have about a half of a, a, a bottle left, but this stuff is really awesome. So definitely a favorite. Another thing that has become a favorite, and you don't have to use a whole lot of it, and of course I ended up buying a bigger bottle, but this is the Alta Beauty Brush and Sponge Cleaner. If you use your makeup brushes and you have sometimes like I've got a mixture of some really nice expensive ones that were gifted to me, then I have some more reasonable priced ones. So whatever you're using, whether it's your sponge, your makeup brush, I think it's so important to try to keep them as clean as possible. And with this, 
you just literally spray a little bit on the brush, swoosh it, and everything comes out. This stuff is really, I think, awesome. And depending on the sales that's going on, you can pick this up for extremely cheap money. So this is the Ulta Beauty Brush and Sponge Cleaner. 40% more in this bottle. This is my second bottle, but as I was doing this and swiping and cleaning my brushes on a more consistent basis, I was like, all over it. I love it. The other thing, and I've talked about Open Formula before. I got sent a number of the Open Formula products. I haven't used them all yet um, because I like the vitamin C. I'm not using that until I'm done the current vitamin C that I'm using. But I have used every day... I have used the oil cleanser. This is amazing. What I do is I put a tiny bit, you know, maybe like the size of a dime, and I start with my eyes. And it takes off all, and I just gently massage it in, you know, and I'll go through the rest of my makeup, but I usually start with my eyes, and it lifts it up. Now, I don't put it on and wipe it off. I put it on, and I gently massage it, and then I wash it off. But I let it sit there. I let it do its thing. I love this stuff. Now, I compared this to the ordinary products. And, you know, somebody else says, well, you, the, the bottles are small. Well, yeah, you know, maybe they are. So if you are really into comparing, compare the size and then compare the amount of product. I think with this particular one, and this is the oil, this is a definite favorite. This is a definite going to be a repurchase, a purchase for me. I really like it. The other one that they had sent to me was the powder exfoliant. I like this. I've used a couple of different powder exfoliants. I like this a lot. I don't really notice a huge, huge difference between this and another powder exfoliant. So if you're going to go dollar for dollar, you know, figure out which one really works best for you price-wise. The products here on Open Formula are so affordable. Even if you don't buy into the plan that they have, they have a plan where you can get a, a huge discount, even if you don't. When I use the oil and then I use the exfoliant afterwards and I rinse everything off, even though I'm not using a ton, I'm just using a little bit. My skin feels amazingly clean. I would say hands down right now, this combo for me is working better than any other cleanser I have, including my beloved You'll know this is a beloved because I do love my Clean It Zero. I like this better. Just saying. Just saying. So, open formula. I can't wait to try the other, the other products that I have. The one product here is the Seaweed Toner. I think the Seaweed Toner is very nice. I have a number of toners. And, you know... I have snail toners, I have glycolic toners, I have a ton of different toners. I like a toner. I really have a hard time telling one toner apart from the other, to be honest with you. So if you are a toner user and you're looking at trying something new, very affordable, spritz it on your hand, apply it to your skin after you've washed it, washed your skin. This is really nice. Those are the only three that I've tried on them. But the hand down, I've used them every day. And I've really liked them a lot. And to the point where I know the oil cleanser is going to be something I'm going to stick with. This was also sent to me from Radiant Labs. Now, this is a, you know, you guys know I'm a CBD. Well, this is a CBD lip balm. You're supposed to put it on your lip. I use this probably every day. I go all around my lip and I go along the skin above my lips. And then I do it, I touch up on my eyes. Because you know, sometimes when you're going through the day, your skin sometimes will dry out a little bit. Sometimes you can spritz it with something. But this has been an awesome touch up. I know it's, it's not it's not the way anyone says to do it, but I really I mean, you can see a little bit of a shine. I really like it. So I end up doing that. Doesn't affect my makeup. You know, I end up, that's how I end up using it. So I really like that a lot. And the other thing I must tell you, my eyelashes are going through a spurt of, where after a while products don't work 
as well. So I've kind of tapered off a little bit, giving my lashes a rest, but I am back full force on my blink. I love this stuff. I've used this stuff for a long, long time. Is this the third year of using blink? It might be. Anyways, to me, this is hands down the best eyelash serum for my eyes, for my lashes out there. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. So I had a fail. A fail was this reset that was sent to me. I've reviewed this. This was a makeup remover, and it's all natural, plant-based. It sounded really good. Organic, oil-free makeup remover. Rose, geranium, lemongrass, uh, all natural, vegan. I mean, it's cruelty-free. You name it. Really good. I really, I thought, wow, this is awesome. I didn't take my makeup off. Yeah, and you can see I still have plenty left, but it just... It's a fail for me, it just does not take my makeup off. So, I think I said I had a couple of fails and I really don't, I only have those that one. Because a number of the other things that I've been using that have been sent to me, you know, that I'm still using consistently, like the cleanse. This is the Blue Orchard Treatment Oil for dehydrated skin. This was sent to me quite a while ago from the Oculi Network from Clarence. I talked about it. I really like it. The only thing about this is there is a, a, a woodsy smell. And so when I put this on my skin and Jay goes to kiss me, he goes, what's that? what's that smell? But so it's this. However, I am using the heck out of this. Now, I normally will add this to my CBD oil when I'm using my CBD oil. But if I'm not, I put this, I go right down my neck. I go on my hands. I go on my face. I put that everywhere everywhere so yeah I really like it and on my head this was sent to me complimentary from Wix Studio One I'm kind of really liking the style of this the probably the thing that you guys might be picking up was is the bangs because I don't normally have this you know this much bangs but this is sort of a shaggy style a shaggy cut and this is in the color velvet cream and this is actually Tressa Lore and this is Skylar this is this is the wig that was sent to me from Wig Studio One for review. And by the time you see this, that wig review will come out. So I'll link it. But I am really loving this a lot. This is a basic cap. There's no frills. There's no monofilament. There's, you know, there's no lace front. It's a basic cap. There is a little bit of permatease here because you need that for the, you know, for the height. But the style to me is very much, you can, push it behind your ears, in front of your ears, but the style to me is very, very much a, um, it's sort of like that little, like, longer shag look. What do you think? I think it's kind of cute. So anyways, this is, um, yeah, I like this. So I must say that another favorite in April has been my wigs. You guys know that I've cut my hair, that I've been using some root spray on my hair, I've been using root powder on my hair, but there is nothing like plopping a wig on your head. <laughs> no fuss, no mess. I think when you're, if you're new to wig wearing, I think once you understand how to wear a wig, I think you, it'll be amazing because a lot of people make a mistake. They put, even when I put this on my head the first time, it was like, oof. You have to be able to play with them a little bit. And um, and that's what I did. So this is Tressalore Skylar in Velvet, Velvet Cream. Extremely affordable. Extremely affordable. Extremely comfortable. I don't even know. I mean, I can't even tell I have it on. You know, I've been wearing it all morning. I can't tell anything at all. There's no pain on my head. I don't feel hot. I don't feel anything. It just feels really super comfortable. And it is so affordable. So I have to definitely say my wigs the month of April. Also the month of March. And I'm sure the month of May. Because my state is opening up. And 
in a week or so, I'm going to be going back to work. I've been working every day, so I don't want to say back to work because I'm not going back to work. But I'm going to be going back to my office location, moving all my laptops, moving all my files back to my office location rather than working from home. So I'm actually... I'm so used to like getting up now and putting on a top, putting on a wig, fixing my face up and wearing jamma bottoms. So I have to figure out what am I going to, what am I going to wear to work? <laughs> so anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. I do appreciate every single one of you. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please be sure you thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment. I try to answer every comment as soon as I can, sometimes a little slow at it. But I do my best to get back to every single one of you all the time. So you guys are always my favorites. Thank you.